What's up everybody, it's your girl July here with Youth on Record. At this point in time, I want to talk to you about EQ. Now, EQ is a filter. Essentially, it will cut out either the bass or the treble of your voice. Now, when I say bass, I mean the low part of your voice. Now, if you listen to me speak, there's like kind of a deep portion of my voice naturally. But there's also a very high, kind of smooth in, which helps you determine that I am female. So it's like that no matter what your sex is. If you're uh, born male or born female, you have bass and trouble in your voice. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what those sound like by using a filter, which is a type of EQ. Now, a filter will essentially help you cut the low end of a signal or the high end of a signal or both. So let's listen to my vocal and I'll show you what I mean by that. I start a picture and I finish it. Cool. So let's go ahead and loop around. I start a picture and I finish it. So that's what it sounded like with no effects. I start a picture and I finish it. This is what it sounds without the low end. I start a picture and I finish it. So that's what I mean by it helps you cut the low end and the high end. Now for vocals, if you're using a filter, you will typically want to cut about 100 to 150 hertz and below. Hertz is a measurement of frequency. So when I say low, 146 hertz is at the low end of the spectrum. Humans can hear from 20 hertz all the way to 20 kilohertz and that is on average as you get older you lose your ability to hear very high frequencies and very low frequencies so let's maybe bring this down a bit since we're young and we can still hear that we'll keep it in there i start a picture and i finish it i start a picture and i finish it cool now the high cut is going to be the high end of the voice so if i turn this down this is what you'll hear now and we'll go ahead and undo the low cut so you only hear the high cut for now. I start a picture and I finish it. So now it sounds really muffled like I'm talking into my sleeve or something's covering the mic. So we want to limit the high cut. If there's a lot of hiss and background noise, then we can definitely cut some of that high end. But we don't want to overdo it so that it sounds muffled. We still want it to sound clear. So let's say about 100 hertz is good for the low cut. And let's listen to see what's safe for a high cut. I start a picture and I finish it. 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 So honestly, it sounds really good without cutting anything. So I won't do that unless I was going for a muffled effect. Now, in the next video, we will talk about compression, but for now I will show you other effects that are versions of EQs. So this equalizer is a version of an EQ, brighter is a version of an EQ, and parametric EQ is an EQ. And this is just so you can experiment them, experiment with them. But the easiest ones to use will be filter, brighter as it's one knob, then I would say equalizer is pretty straightforward. Parametric EQ might be the hardest for you to grasp, but it lets you get the most intricate. So for the sake of this basic tutorial, I will only go over brighter and briefly go over equalizer. If you want to experiment, then you can go over parametric EQ if you understand everything clearly. So I'll turn that off, turn this off. This is brighter. Brighter is going to make my voice sound more clear basically raising the treble which we talked about in a previous video i start a picture and i finish it 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 i start a so this is without the effect picture and i finish it i start a picture and i finish it and that's with the effect so it definitely helps to add some brightness to the signal and in addition, if we want, we could also still keep this filter on to get rid of that low end. I start a picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. 
I start a picture and I finish it. Now when we turn on this filter, you'll hear more clearly that the P sounds less heavier. So we're getting rid of that P and the, you know, the, the low end of my vocal enunciation is essentially cut out. I start a picture and I finish it. So listen to that P in picture without the filter. I start a picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. And see how it doesn't sound as heavy, but it sounds clearer. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the equalizer. And this has multiple knobs. There's three knobs for high, uh, about four knobs for mid, and another three for high. Basically, it's just going up the line in order by frequency, and you can pick which one sounds good to turn down and to turn up. So let's listen, and we'll adjust it as we go. I start a picture, and I finish it. I start a picture, and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. So here I'm just listening to that P and picture, making sure that I can cut that out as best as possible while still maintaining clarity and not getting rid of the body of my voice, which is that low end tone that kind of makes it sound like I'm on the radio. I don't want to get rid of too much of that. I start a picture and I finish it. We can also go back up here to the tone knob and mess with that if we like to, but we'll stick with the equalizer for now. I start a picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. Now, it helps to turn up something all the way to hear what you're changing. So in this case, this isn't a frequency that I want to keep or enunciate. So I might even cut this out. Let's listen. I start a picture and I finish it. 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 Cool, so this is what it sounds like without the equalizer. And we'll make sure that's off too. I start a picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. I start a picture. Now you see how it sounds lighter, it's not as heavy, it's more clear. Picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. Now it does sound a bit thin, so I might want to return some of these back up to their original place and make sure that the highs aren't boosted too much meaning the high frequencies aren't turned up too much. I start a picture and I finish it. I start a picture and I finish it. And then we'll start to notice that this third knob here that is right above low actually controls a lot of my tone. So I might not want to cut that out too much. So EQing when you first start is going to be a lot of trial and error. Make sure that your voice isn't too thin, meaning you cut too much of the low frequencies and make sure that it's not muffled which would mean that you cut too much of the high frequencies. If you haven't added any EQ and it already sounds thin, you might need to make sure you're not too far away from your mic. And if you've already recorded and it already sounds muffled, you might wanna make sure that your original recording isn't muffled, you took your phone case off and you spoke clearly while you were recording. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Experiment with EQ and let me know if you have any questions. I start a picture and I finish it. I don't think about art while I work. I try to think about life.